Lucy Fink, and this week is five days of getting organized. Hey guys, welcome back to another five day challenge. If you wanna see more of these videos, be sure to subscribe to Refinery29. Happy September, everyone. I know it's not the new year just yet, but for me, September always seems to signify new beginnings. It's the end of the hot summer. It's time to refresh your closet for a new season. And for all the students out there, it's back to school. So it's really all about reorganizing and getting a fresh start. Before officially diving in, I wanted to first gather some organization tips from my best friend in the world. World, Haley Steinfeld. Hey everyone, I'm Haley Steinfeld and today I tried living with Lucy. <laughs> Just kidding, we're not best friends. But I did get the chance to meet her and to gather her preliminary tips for getting organized. I mean, these are tips for myself. I gotta pick up after myself. When there's something that needs to be done, do it right then and there. Write everything down on your post-it notes and sleep. Because if you don't sleep and you're tired, you put things off and then you're unorganized. Going into this week, I knew that I couldn't tackle five days of truly getting organized all on my own. Personal organizers have a major skill set that I evidently just don't have. And that's okay. To make sure that this video really inspired you guys and also to make sure that you learned something from it, I needed to go big. So I connected with Horderly, a professional home organizing company run by husband and wife duo, Jamie and Philip. Our last name's Hord, H-O-R-D. You mentioned the word orderly and then it just sounded like you were saying orderly. And yeah. it was really simple. I started out on Monday by giving Jamie and Philip a tour of our entire apartment. First and foremost, our closets were a mess. Half is Michael, half is me. Shirts are here, dresses and jumpsuits, and some shirts are here. Shoes, 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 shoes. Okay. I don't know how I got so many shoes. <laughs> this is the hallway closet. Lucy stuff half. here with a little of Michael's sport equipment on top. His shoes are just piled. I mean, I don't know. Although I donated a few bags of clothing not too long ago, being in videos all the time and also working with brands means that my closet continues to grow and grow even when I'm not shopping. In addition to the amount of things that we have in there, Michael and I were also splitting each closet down the middle. You and Michael both have two closets, half and half. In my head, it would make sense to create one closet per Person. That's one of the systems, is like make sure everybody has their own space. Our front closet was a complete mess. It was basically a giant junk drawer with no rhyme or reason to it. And the bathroom, I mean, I'm just embarrassed that that was my bathroom space. Michael's stuff, Lucy's stuff, tooth stuff. At one point, I used everything on this shelf every day, but no longer. Hair stuff, nails, and moisturizers. I don't even know where this came from. Okay but it was just an absolute atrocity. Once again, being a social media personality means that brands are constantly sending me their beauty products to try out, which I'm not complaining about. I love that so much. I feel so fortunate that I have the opportunity to do that. But at the same time, if you're anything like me and you have trouble getting rid of things, that leads to a lot of clutter. And then there's the desk. It's not bad right now, because okay. I recently cleaned it. Clear desk. Um, but it is absolutely not functional. I'm a painter, I love getting crafty, you know I love bullet journaling, I have tons of supplies, markers and pens and tape, but when all of my supplies are tucked away in a bag, I never want to use them because they're not easily accessible. We'll set you up in a nice way where you can see all you have. Something that will inspire you to actually Utilizes. Yes. After the tour, the three of us just did some regrouping. We sat and we looked at the Horderly Instagram account just for some inspiration. And then we started working on a plan for my complete apartment overhaul. <laughs> Ready to go! Let's get to work! Tuesday was time for the dirty work. We started out with a big ticket item, our closets. We knew that this one would take at least a couple of days to perfect, so we dove right in as soon as possible. Be prepared, because it, it will get worse before it gets better. The first step in the hoarderly organization process is the edit. This is when you remove absolutely everything. Stray tennis balls? Sorry. Oh gosh. Uh, I think I can fit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my empty closet. You lay it all out so you can see what you've got. We've got a lone shoe. Is this necessary? <laughs> and then you go through every last thing you own. You don't have to be a minimalist, but you can always live with less. We separated things out into piles. So keep, 
donate, throw away, and then a pile of things to give my mom and sister. Those I love, donate this. I'm gonna add this to my sister pile. Donation bag. We went through every headband, belt, bag. I saved it because it said my name. Oh. But I don't need that. Okay. Shirt. I have a lot of white tees. Okay. I feel like I like can pare down. They're all stained. <laughs> Sock, bra, I kid you not, we touched everything in those closets. Basically every single inch of the bedroom and the entire living room was completely covered with clothing. That first chunk of stuff that you start sorting through can be a little bit hard to part with, but once you start seeing how good it feels to just clear things out and to make space in your life, the rest will just flow. Michael was actually uptown at his first week of business school, but I FaceTimed with him to help him edit some of his items down too. Yeah, do okay, donate. Donate? Yeah. Okay, that sounds great. Let me turn you, say hi to the camera. Hey. All right, see you later, love you. And after all the sorting was done and we looked in front of us and we knew exactly what we were gonna keep, then it was time to strategize for where we were gonna put everything. And now it was time for the real organization to begin. Jamie and I reworked the whole flow of our closets so that now Michael had the entire dresser to himself plus the entire hallway closet to himself and I had the entire bedroom closet to myself plus the additional piece to myself. That way we each have our own spaces and we can reassemble them in a way that makes the most sense for us and for our clothing. When you organize something you can maintain it much easier because one of those systems we put in place is the system of feeling ownership of your own space. We went to the container store and we picked up a bunch of things that proved very useful. Shoe racks for both of us, a new drawer system to give me additional storage, drawer dividers for Michael, bins to put inside our shelves, hanger dividers, and so much more. And then came the folding process, and this is really where I think I might have learned the most in this entire week. I used to just slap my clothes together and call it a fold, but Horderly has an entire folding system. They call it the file fold. So basically, instead of folding everything and then laying it one on top of the other like this, where you're folding from bottom to top, everything in the closet is arranged from front to back, so when you pull it all out, it looks like a filing cabinet and you can see everything you own. So Jamie taught me how to fold everything from t-shirts to long sleeve shirts to shorts to underwear to thongs. Yes, even thongs get folded. So she taught me the special fold and if you're interested in learning how to fold like this, they have YouTube videos where they teach you how to fold. And by the end, everything looked pretty magical. Once everything was in place, we used their label machine to print out labels for our hanger dividers, our drawers, and our bins. Way through the week and I've got to say that stage one of my home reorganization was looking pretty good. Given the amount of beauty products that I own, we reserved an entire day for the bathroom. Using the hallway as our staging area this time, we went back to step one of the hoarderly process, the edit. We took everything out of the bathroom. Got it all! Ugh. Pimple popper down. And then we cleaned each shelf. Don't wanna drop this. And we separated our stuff into sections that we labeled with post-it notes. So we had face, mouth, eye care, hair, and more. And then we sat on the floor and we repeated the whole process. Jamie did not let anything slip through the cracks here, so we sorted through our things down to every last hair tie and bobby pin. And keep in mind, throughout this process, Jamie is asking all the right questions to help you determine not only if you should keep something, but also where it should be placed if you do decide to keep it. Are you only using this or when are you using the wipes over this? Kind of like interchangeable. And she also has you store up extra products to use as backup. They're both great brands. Do you want to put one in backup? Yeah, maybe that would be a backup. After we had successfully cut our belongings about in half, it was time to officially reorganize things. We brought in some new bathroom essentials and then arranged everything on the shelves beautifully. You can see from the Horderly Instagram account that they have a very specific way that they like to organize bathroom essentials. Basically everything is displayed with a little bit of space between it so that it looks like a shelf in a store. It really looks like I'm shopping. Yeah. 
you can shop your own shelves. My new travel kit was probably my favorite project of the day because I travel a lot. I feel like I'm always packing and unpacking my bathroom essentials. So Jamie made my life a whole lot easier by helping me pack up a pre-made travel bag that essentially mimicked everything that was already in the cabinet. The best part about this is you can hang it. Ooh. So now whenever I travel, I have this ready to go bag and I'll never forget anything ever again. Towards the end, we labeled each section and before I knew it, my bathroom had gone from an explosive mess to a neat and orderly space that I now want to spend all of my time in. I actually think I might sleep in the tub. Friday was focused on editing and reorganizing my desk space. This area of my home makes me so incredibly happy because it's pretty much where I sit every morning when I'm drinking my coffee or when I'm journaling. The problem is I didn't have any sort of way to organize all the supplies that I have, so either everything was tucked away neatly so that the desk was clean, or everything was totally splayed out and I had everything at my disposal, but it was a complete and utter mess. So we got started by setting aside the supplies that I don't use and made a donation pile, and then we started organizing the rest. I'm a pen fiend. We assembled a new set of bins to put right next to the desk, separated the pens and markers into individual containers, and then began filing things away in an arrangement that made the most sense for me. Are you like ready to do art now? So ready. Jamie! This is amazing! <laughs> Lucy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My How pleasure. do you feel? I feel good. You feel good. I feel amazing. <laughs> Even after the Horderly team left me on Friday, I was inspired to continue organizing on my own throughout the course of the weekend. Everything from my front closet where I completely cleaned it out and then organized a neat shelf for all of my backup bathroom essentials, to cleaning out the drawer in my kitchen where I used to throw everything in it and it was a total junk drawer, and even tidying up the bottom of the kitchen sink area that used to be exploding with cleaning supplies and plastic bags. I was also inspired to clean up some of my digital spaces, so I organized all of the apps on my iPhone into categories. And I also cleaned up the desktop icons on my computer. And now I'm just on a major organization kick. Seriously, I can't stop. So up next, I'm gonna clean out my entire kitchen and also the rest of my apartment and then my desk at work. I really hope this video inspires you to get organized this month. And please comment below if you have any other organization tips that you might be hoarding away. And good luck to everyone out there who's going back to school. Comment below and let me know what other five day challenges you wanna see me try. And we'll see you next time on Try Living with Lucy. Bye guys. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Click here for another five day challenge, here to subscribe to R29 on YouTube, and right here for my personal YouTube channel. See ya.